It's Alex, how you guys doing? Um, today I'm gonna to be doing something I thought I'd never do. I'm going to a car show, <laughs> but not just any car show. I'm going to a Fox Body specific car show and in Fox Body fashion, I have to get in on the passenger side because my handle broke so that I can open the driver's side <laughs> so I can get in the car. So, you know, it's giving me all of the nostalgia. Now, the reason I'm gonna to go to this car show is I got an invite, which is kind of nice. But I also want to just show you guys um, different types of Fox bodies. A lot of guys that watch my stuff now are slightly younger guys. Maybe you guys saw me from the Street Alpha podcast. This thing has fingerprints on it. So I'm going to do my... There we go. Um, so the younger guys, I want to get up on game when it comes to Fox bodies. And the older guys, maybe you'll get to see some cool foxes. It is a gorgeous day today in Florida. 75 sunny dry late march probably one of the last good days we're gonna have in florida so i said fuck it let me get some gas hopefully the car doesn't give me any trouble get down there and uh hang out with some fox body guys you're gonna see some really nice fox bodies i'm gonna talk to two guys that i know personally that own really super clean fox bodies and we'll see if there's any coyote swap stuff out there we can talk about and just hang out with people which i generally don't like to do because I'm a introvert like that, but what the fuck? Got nothing else going on. Peasant chat is at nighttime now, so I have all day Sunday to do car show stuff. So let me get down there, show you some cool Fox bodies, meet up with some friends, and hang out with uh, some like minded Fox body folk. Okay, made it to the guy's house. The Fox made it. I'm very happy it made it. Um, we're, we met up at the gentleman's house here. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, drive over to the car show, which is about four blocks away it's crazy beautiful neighborhood so um I'll just, i'm trying to get video of the cars leaving try not to get any addresses and then uh we'll check out the car show i mean you want to talk about a teal beautiful beautiful car this is a turbo teal car and eh, fuck me and then we got the other gentleman's car and uh, let's roll out with them. I can't believe this ship box is gonna follow these beautiful cars. This is one of those hidden gem neighborhoods you don't know about in Florida that looks like home, meaning looks like the Northeast. Super well like configured. Again, you know, you don't know about it until you, <laughs> you can afford to live in it, uh, to be honest. this was a thing. Dude, I guess Fox Body guys are loaded now. We're the new loaded guys. We're the new rich guys. <laughs> Okay, apparently I ended up in a, a group of guys that seem to do okay in life. Yeah, I'll tell so I'm gonna walk up, show you the cars that are there, and uh, give you kind of rundown as to what's happening. Some really pretty cars here. This car has a, a vortex situation. No intercooler, pre-intercooler days. Right, hot air, right to the bitch. <laughs> but it's got AC. Man. Bro. These are clean. I can't, I don't know why I brought my car here. These are clean, clean. Coyote swap, Gen 3 Coyote swap. No, Gen, yeah, Gen 3 Coyote swap. Why? The DI. Good old DI. So Gen 3 Coyote swap, 85 or 86, 4i. 
again old school vortec no intercooler right to the bitch <laughs> hot air right to the cobra intake again hot rod air right into it some of these had an after cooler that they used to place on the on the cold air area but um back in the day there was no such thing so you guys are spoiled with today's technology when it comes to intercooling whipple car i think lund tunes this car i think it's like a 940 or 9 930 car uh, i think it's a gen 3 or no gen 5 whipple uh gen 2 bottom end obviously you don't see the di crazy stuff for some reason i have a thing about fox body convertibles um i i, I, I want a blue one i don't know why but i want a blue fox body convertible on pro stars I, that's just something i want one day Cobra Jet Gen 3. I'm oh, sorry, Gen, yeah, Cobra Jet Gen 3. This car's like this. I wouldn't even try racing. I just restore it and cruise. Cars like this, I don't know why, but they're just super clean to me. You shouldn't be racing this. <laughs> you should just be maybe, maybe fucking around once in a while, but teal notchbacks. Cream of the crop. Turbo Windsor convertible. <laughs> Like death trap, death trap. Um, I'm not sure if he has an. I'm sure it has to have an intercooler somewhere. Yes, oh, he does have intercooler, an on three intercooler there. Um, again, he had to put it on at least three times, but it probably makes power. But convertible, bro, you are brave. Shut up. Four eyes um, just look classier to me. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with the 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 rooster but the interior bro you don't see interiors like this uh clean anymore they're usually super super jacked up um but this i believe i don't know if it's an 85 or 86 let's look at the tail light so according to the uh hatch light it's probably an 86 super cool car I'm not sure if it's a real svo but it looks like it and usually you look for the Smaller wing up top. SVO is four cylinder turbo. Um, 85, 86. This looks like an 86 based on the lights because some of them are flush. Some of them are flush, some of them are sunken in, so this might be an 86. A freaking jalapeno red four eye notch supercharged with a carburetor. <laughs> Dude. And it has an 86 front end, ah, 85 or 86 front end, but supercharged Windsor, uh, Holly supercharged carbureted Windsor, bro, jalapeno red notch, bro, bro. Cars like this were, I don't want to say underrated, but a lot of people poo pooed the um, hatchbacks. Uh, back in the day, the hatchbacks weren't as popular, but there is a soft spot I look I love all Fox bodies but the hatchback was the one that was least desirable if you wanted a hatch you wanted a GT if you wanted it to be a little lighter you get an LX but if you really you know had you know to wanted to stunt the notch back was the preferred um, car but this car is so clean when you look at the engine bay when you look at everything that's going on compared to mine obviously this thing is super clean has AC it's probably a great cruiser so stuff like this is a good restoration deal that you don't have to worry about racing and stuff um and you just cruise it and they're probably super available because it's the least desirable fox body the hatch lx but that's not to say it's bad it's just least desirable i suddenly don't feel bad that i brought my car but hey these are here represent wow some pro street deal obviously did the work to get a lot of tire back there but obviously show car stuff AC that's something I don't have I think these were in 93 I'm, I think these were 93 only this color um, black interior black top they used to come in white interior white top and like white ponies so I'm not sure this you guys can correct me if I'm wrong if this was a uh, other year option but I think 93 only was this uh, color option it's kind of crazy seeing four eye notches um, oh this thing articulates pretty well it's kind of crazy seeing four eye notches um you just don't see them uh well four eye notches period and it was my gray one that i missed so much but four eye notch in my opinion is the best fox body of the 80s by far okay so because um you don't really know what's happening until you talk to the owner this is um mr uh 
Javier Leva, or they call him Kiko. He's in Miami. So I looked at this and said, okay, Gen 3 swap, um, 4 eye, cool. This thing has original paint. I know, I'm sounding like one of those guys, but this has original paint. You don't understand, guys, what Fox Bodies and paint were back in the day. He said he bought it on California off of eBay and 100% original paint. I mean, if you look at the interior, I don't even want to step in it. All the gauges work, like the stock gauges work with the Coyote Swap built at Lujan, or Lujan Motorsports. The moment he said original paint, I didn't believe him. And then the more I looked at it, I go, I, he's not lying. And they did a paint correction, of course. Um, but then he started telling me more details about the car. So 10R80 Swap, Gen 3, Lund tuned. Um, it has power steering through a Volvo pump. Because remember, Coyotes don't have a power steering pump. And he has a little Volvo pump up in here going to the factory rack. And with the key on, he can steer it super easy. Um, but he wants to put a Whipple on it and he wants to be able to keep the stock hood on it. So they're going to try to drop the engine a certain way so that they can fit it. But guys, this is an original paint, which is unheard of. 85, again, we know it's an 85 because the third brake light is not there. So that's how you know if it's an 85 or an 86. But guys, if you want to know what a factory paint Fox body goes for nowadays, do your research. Big, stupid money. And the fact that this is Gen 3 10R swap, it's pretty amazing. So this is like the last one left. They're giving away free tacos. I mean, if you go to the taco joint at the end of the street, free tacos. Obviously, you give a tip. You pay for sodas, but tacos are free. It's crazy. I'm going to have to hang out with these people they they feed you and they all have fox bodies why not well, here we go of course it's a camaro and a corvette guy that guy in the corvette watches the videos which is good he didn't punch me in the face so that means um he might like me <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna take some video of these cars leaving here again not my typical videos but i'm getting to that age where these cars are worth a little money and um guys just like super clean cars and have nice little meetups like this which is crazy because you know, I don't feel I'm old, but if you end up in a nice neighborhood like this with a free taco truck with a bunch of, you know, badass cars, you're in halfway decent company, I would think. There's a couple of uh, Buick Grand Nationals and stuff. Oh, that's a T-Type. But yeah, you know, I never thought about Lake Worth being like super nice, but apparently certain parts of it is, you know, desirable. This is like the most adult car show I've ever been to. So we were looking at these cars, me and uh, one of the other Fox Body guys, and these guys understand a certain thing. You, you, you guys see where I'm coming from? Like, I think you guys maybe don't understand why I think it's so important, but these guys get it. These guys understand that the catch can has to be open to atmosphere get the crankcase pressure out of it let me go see if this car has a similar thing and again you, you know you could poo poo it all you want but um nope this guy has just breathers like mine does but this guy is on supposedly lower boost breathers okay so again getting rid of the crankcase pressure this gentleman has basically a stock na car so he doesn't have to get rid of the crankcase pressure and this is also NA, so he doesn't have to get rid of the crankcase pressure as much as the boosted cars. So the two boosted cars, ventilating to atmosphere and a catch can basically ventilating to atmosphere because it's crucially, it's crucial to get all of the crankcase pressure out of the car. Another thing that this car show has, or let's just say doesn't have, is no burnout marks. Everyone respectful of the neighborhood. No one doing dumb shit. So maybe you guys understand why I don't really go outside all that much is because you don't really come across like-minded people, but maybe I've come across some people that totally get it. We'll see. We'll see if this is like a new thing. Dude. Dude. This one's got the Harley. So clean. <laughs> I mean...
Again, guys, talking about guys that have money. Not money, but they've done well in life. I mean, the shoes, but I mean, I'm, I'm not that far off, so. He's got fox bodies on fox bodies on fox bodies. He's got a space car on the wall with hubcaps. So I suspect my Fairmont was built around this same year only because the top is similar. So I, when I get it back from um, from where it's getting the cage, look at this thing. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, this is something I'm actually considering, not like this obviously, but this is like a desert car. It was bought from a uh, very dry climate, obviously, but uh, it gives me Fairmont vibes. I mean, 350 doors. <laughs> T-top notch pack. What the fuck? Like, these guys love these weird, weird foxes. T-top notch GT350 doored with Cobra wheels. <laughs> it's nuts. So I want these office chairs. Yes. Call me crazy. I want these office chairs. <laughs> Look at this. I I'm sorry. I'm geeking out. I'm an old guy. I might as well just wear New Balances and roll the fuck out. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. Look at the throttle bodies. There you go, Fox made it, hung out with uh, New friends, made some new friends, which is weird for me because I'm super antisocial. But at the end of the day, I just got to get out there and meet like-minded people that, I guess, because I'm not going to be doing much racing, you know, I, I have to eventually link up with people that are, are like-minded. Um, you can at least enjoy cars and have a hobby, even though I'm not a conventional car show guy. Like, I don't go to Cars and Coffee. I don't go to meets or anything like that. But this is like a private Fox Body only deal. And I thought it was pretty cool. Everyone seems to have careers. Um, they're successful and they just have a love of Fox Body. So if I can crowbar my way into a um, new collection of friends like that that are in the same point in their life, that they just want to enjoy cars, go fast on their own and just kind of like... I don't know, hang out with like-minded people, I, why not, right? Why not add that to the uh, long collection of uh, things that might pique my interest someday. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. It's a bit of a different video than I normally put up on the on the channel, but I thought you guys would appreciate some Fox Body content because I'm going to eventually get into a different type of... Not, not that the hobby is going to um, evolve. I, I still want to go racing and stuff, but hey, if I can go to a meet with a bunch of adults that have really badass cars and that can lead to other connections down the road, why not? All right, guys, that'll be it for today. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later.